hello guys and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome to my channel i'm so happy to have you here so in today's tutorial we are going to be making this beautiful bubble gown with bands inside and you can see how beautiful this looks i really really love bubble gowns because they are simple to make yes they are they come out very beautiful very classy this is an adire silk fabric that i used it is called adire silk and this is very very beginner friendly this tutorial involves both cutting and sewing and if you want to learn how to make this please keep on watching so i'm gonna have to fold my fabric into four so fold this for the first time and then go ahead and fold it across and making it four folds okay and when you're done with this the next thing you want to do is to take out your neck width and your neck depth so for my neck round or neck width anyone for my neck round i used two and a half inches two and a half inches for my neck round so when you're done with piping this it comes back to three inches okay so go ahead and take two and a half inches for your neck round and for the neck depth for the back i am going to take two and a half inches also okay this is for the back you know the front of this gown has a v neckline all right so go ahead and take this but you know that this is going to be for the back now when you are done with this the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and take out your shoulder measurement so i'm going to divide my shoulder into two my shoulder is 14 divided by two which is seven so i'm going ahead to mark seven inches up there then this booboo is cut together okay we're not joining the sleeves differently the sleeve is joined to the shoulder okay so from that shoulder go ahead and measure the length of your sleeve and for this fabric i'm going to use the rest of the length here for my sleeve length okay and then from the end i'm going to take 10 inches down for my sleeve radius so go ahead and take your sleeve radius you can take nine inches ten inches as comfortable as this would be on you go ahead and take it then for the shaping of this i'm going in by one inch okay from that sleeve radius i will go in by one inch and then from this one inch that i just went in i'm going to rule a straight line down so this boo boo is very free you don't need to take your bust round or your waist round or your hip round just go in by half an inch from your sleeve radius and then from that half an inch or one inch just take in enough allowance you can use one inch and then just draw a straight line down to the length of your gown and that's basically it for the shaping of this gown now when you're done with this the next thing that you want to do is to go ahead and trim off your neck okay the neck round we're going to go ahead and trim this off then we will take our measurement for the front neck part so i'm going to be using nine inches for the front now i'm placing my tape rule at that neck width and i'm coming down by nine inches you can see how i place my tape rule in a v form and i placed it down to nine inches at that center front then i just go ahead to connect this from the neck width down and that's basically it for how i took the front v neckline now because this is a silk fabric and it moves a lot i'm going to use my clip to hold it at the center front so you can use a pin i'm going to use my clips so you can use a pin if you don't have clips or if you are using a more stable fabric that is even better okay i'm going to go ahead and separate the back from the front so you can see how i am going to separate this and i'll go ahead and spread it across just so i can take i can shape out the front neckline alone okay so right now i'm going ahead to shape out the front v neckline and you can see the back neckline is still round and then the front is now a v neckline then i'm going ahead to also notch the shoulder just so i know where the shoulder meets i know where the front neckline meets the back neckline which is the shoulder so you can see what this is looking like when you open it up and please if you're using a patterned fabric and you want your pattern to be at the center front please do make sure to fold your fabric in a way that the pattern comes in at the center front so you can see that my pattern right there at the center front i make sure to fold it in a way that when i am done this pattern becomes the one in the center front okay or the pattern comes at the center front so when you are done with this go ahead and fold back your fabric and you can see that place where i notched my shoulder it's helping me to be able to arrange this very well so you can see 
Now, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and shape out the other side of your booboo -boo gown also. You can see we just shaped just one side. So go ahead and also shape out the other side of your booboo -boo gown. We're going to be doing exactly the same thing we did for the initial one. Come down by 10 inches for my sleeve radius. And then from there, I will go in by 1 inch. And then from this one inch that I just went in, I am going to draw a straight line down. And that's basically it for the shaping of this gown. Then when I am done with this, I will just head over to my sewing machine and stitch this right up. And for the neck, I'm going to be using a bias tape to pipe this neck, okay? So I've gone ahead to pipe this with a bias tape and you can see what it is looking like. I've also gone ahead to stitch in the sides. Please do go ahead to iron open your seams when you are done with stitching this. I've gone ahead to stitch in my sides and also the sleeve radius. I've gone ahead to also fold this, okay, to fold in the edges. Now for the band, go ahead and cut out a band long enough to go from one side of your waist to your back, okay? So I'm going to be using these two pieces here for my band. So I'll go ahead and fold this on one side, stitch it, also stitch in the top part and turn it right side out. So you can see what it is looking like when I was done. I was going to have to iron this out and the next thing I will do right now is to pin my band to where it would be on my gown. So you want to pin this to the wrong side so that when you are when you put this on the band will be inside it would it would be invisible all right so you want to pin it on the wrong side but on the front part of the gown okay so you can see this is the front part of my gown and it is on the wrong side so right here i will go down by the length of my waist so from my shoulder to my waist is 18 inches so you can see right there i'm going to divide my waist into four and my waist is 28 divided by 4, making it 7 inches. And I am marking 7 inches right there. So right here, I am going to be pinning my band. Please do make sure to pin this only to the front side. Don't pin it together with the back side, okay? Just to the front part of the gown. And when I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and flip this to the other side of the gown. And also do the same thing like I just did right here. And then I'm going to measure from my shoulder to my waist again, mark it right there at 18 inches. Then right there, I'm going to mark my waist right there by 4. And then go ahead to also pin the second band right there. So now I'm going to open this up just so you see what it is looking like spread out. So you can see this is on the wrong side of my gown, but on the front part of the gown, okay? So you can see what it is looking like and when you are stitching this on your sewing machine you want to go ahead and separate it from the back okay so you can see what i am doing right now separate it like so and stitch it only to the front part so guys i am done with stitching this and you can see what it is looking like our bands are ready they are stitched to the gown and this gown is basically ready. I'm already done. I've gone ahead to also pipe the down part of the gown. And this is this when I put it on, guys. This looks so, so beautiful, so, so classy. And yes, it's very, very simple to make. So, guys, this is basically it for this tutorial. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do subscribe and join the family for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.